This series will share updates and highlights of the San Alijo Lagoon restoration activities that are happening as this three-year project comes to a close. Today, our scientific research director, Tim Stillinger, is going to meet us out at one of the two new pedestrian bridges that, when complete, will connect the San Alijo Lagoon Nature Center in Cardiff to the trails here in Solana Beach and beyond. And you're just going to love the view. So let's head over to Tim now and see what he has to share. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the San Alejo Lagoon Restoration Project with us today. The Restoration Project is the keystone environmental project in the North Coast Corridor transportation improvements that are going on in North San Diego County right now. And I'm going to tell you about some of the main things we're doing here in San Alejo Lagoon to restore and enhance um, all the wonderful benefits that this lagoon provides. So for our restoration project, there's really two main alterations that we've made to the lagoon. And you can actually see examples of both of them right here behind me. So the first, th the first main thing we've done is we've made all the main channels in the lagoon much wider and deeper. So after the project, we're now seeing about three times as much water coming in and out of the lagoon from the ocean with the tides every day. You can kind of think of the main channels as the lungs of the lagoon. So every time the tides change, the lagoon takes a really big breath and a bunch of fresh water and nutrients come in and out of the lagoon. You can see one of these new main channels here behind me. The second main improvement that we've made in the lagoon is we've created these really large transitional areas that make the lagoon resilient to sea level rise and climate change. Behind me over here on your right, you can see all the planted plants we have over here. This is one of our transitional areas. These are areas in the lagoon where we have designed them to go from the current elevation of the marsh plain and slowly increase to an elevation that is too high for a wetland today, but is the right elevation for a wetland tomorrow. When we're th for tomorrow, we're really thinking about the next 50 years. So as sea level rises over the next 50 years, we've made these gradual slopes in the lagoon where the plants can slowly grow as the sea level comes up higher and the animals also have a place to go. So when you're out walking around the lagoon on our wonderful trail system, look around and try and find these areas that we've placed strategically in different areas of the lagoon and are really designed to make sure this wetland survives and stays functional with climate change and sea level rise. Wow, that's really interesting, Tim. I understand that the snowy plover is finding new habitat due to this project in the sand that was removed from the lagoon. From all of us at Nature Collective, we miss each and every one of you. Be well and stay safe.